So recently I've been doing some time-lapse photography of the stars at night and assembling the photographs into time-lapse videos. Now here you can see the view from Broome Airport looking south and you can distinctly recognize the Southern Cross and the two pointers Hadar and Alpha Centauri. Now if we go to Sky Safari Pro you can see those stars labeled very clearly. Rigel Kentaurus, also known as Alpha Centauri, and Hadar are the two pointers, and these four stars form the Southern Cross. Now, when you assemble each of the individual frames into a Star Trails video, you can see that looking south, the trails are rotating clockwise and forming nice, clean circles about a central point. So growing up as a child in Australia, I was taught to identify the direction of south by reference to the Southern Cross and the pointers. And the way to do that is quite straightforward. You draw a line through the long axis of the cross and also perpendicular to the two pointers. And where those two lines intersect is the direction of south. And here's a diagram showing that. One line through the long axis of the Southern Cross and another perpendicular to the two pointers and this gives you the direction of south. And I've also taken some footage from Sydney looking north and also to the east but at this point I just want to give a quick shout out to Movie Vertigo for putting me onto some excellent software called Star Stacks and if you haven't seen Movie Vertigo's channel it's well worth checking out because he has some of the best footage I've seen taken with a P900 of the planets, Saturn, Jupiter, and also one of the clearest ISS transits I have ever seen. As you can see there, the detail from the P900 is quite incredible. But the software he put me onto is this one called Star Stacks, and it allows you to assemble numerous time-lapse photos into Star Trails videos, which I'll show you a few more now. So this is another Star Trails video, and this time I'm in Sydney, Australia, looking north. Now, the beauty of the Star Stacks software is you can choose to make the Star Trails appear as comets or as full trails. So there's the comet mode, and there is the full trail mode. Now, as I said, we're looking north from Sydney, Australia, and you can see that now the trails are rotating anti-clockwise looking north and they are rotating about a point that is very clearly below the horizon. In fact, they are rotating around the North Celestial Pole and Sydney, Australia being 34 degrees south latitude means that the point around which these stars are rotating is 34 degrees below the horizon. So in the next part of the video, we are also in Sydney, Australia, but this time we are facing east. And you can see as you move progressively to the right in the frame, which is a more southerly direction, the trails are becoming increasingly curved because they are rotating around the South Celestial Pole. However, directly east, the star trails are a straight line. Now, what is significant here is the angle of the stars that are moving in a straight line because if we were at the equator those straight line star trails would be moving directly upwards if we were in the northern hemisphere they would be angled in the opposite direction so these star trail patterns are what we see in reality and they are very strong evidence that the earth cannot be flat if we had a rotating dome above a flat earth you will not see these star trail patterns. In reality, we have a south celestial pole with the stars rotating around it in a clockwise direction. We have a north celestial pole with the stars rotating around it in an anti-clockwise direction. And we have star trails moving in straight lines when we are looking directly east. Now that is impossible on a flat earth with a rotating dome above the flat earth. So as always, I challenge flat earthers to prove me wrong. This is the Star Trail video from Broome, Australia, 
looking south, as you can see, the trails are forming clean circles. Now, you will not get circles on a flat earth from any location other than the North Pole looking straight up. If you are in Australia on a flat earth looking towards the north or the south, you will never produce circular star trails. And I have tested this. I tested it twice. I tested it on a flat earth with a rotating sky. And as you can see there, the result is ovals of light in the sky. There are no circles. So this short video has two experiments in one. The first part is a stationary camera with a rotating sky when the camera is not located at the North Pole. And you can see very clearly that we see ovals. Now the second part of this video, I kept the sky stationary and I rotated the camera simulating it was on a rotating globe. And look at the difference. We now have clean circles. That's flat earth. That's a rotating globe. Which one matches reality? And what you'll notice in the following Star Trails videos is that none of the trails cross over each other. And the key to getting accurate trails like this is to keep your camera perfectly stationary. I had mine on a heavy duty tripod on a concrete base. Now I have seen some flat earthers make the claim that the star trails cross over each other. The only way that will occur is if you did not keep your camera stationary while the photographs were being taken. Now I have seen that myself when setting up the tripod on grass, leaving it overnight, the tripod settles just slightly into the ground and the star trails are ruined because they do cross over each other. Putting it on a solid base, you won't have that problem.